Hello! Hi. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> I don't know. Um, we're back in the UK. Uh, we're still a little bit jet lagged. It's been four days. Four days and, and get drunk. Go to bed Five quietly. days. <laughs> I'm not even back to work yet. Can't face it yet. No. One more day off. But anyway. anyway. We thought we'd do our haul. Because we actually bought stuff this time, which mm-hmm. is really not like us. No, and we thought we'd do it right away rather than we leave it. We thought we'd put it away and have to find it. Because we put it, it all away and can't find it, yeah. So we thought we'd do it now. So we're going to start with mugs that I wasn't allowed to buy. No, you didn't. You weren't allowed to buy any mugs on this trip. I bought four. Yeah, so you didn't do too bad. I mean, yeah. Because it's unwear. So shall I pass the mugs over? Yeah. So the first mugs we got from the character warehouse. Is it the Vinelands one? It was, I think, But we yes. did see these in both character warehouses. Mm-hmm. So the, the other one is up north by uh, Universal. So this one Drive. is Adventureland. So you've got Pirates of the Caribbean, Sunshine Tree Terrace, Enchanted Tiki Room on it. And these were discounted... Jungle, Band, Jungle Cruise. Oh, Jungle Cruise as well, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, these are discounted from 13 99 to 5 I think 5 the price is still on mine because I never removed it. Twelve ninety nine to, to five ninety nine. Yeah, I washed um, mine. Yeah, mine, mine's actually there. genuinely has still got some coffee in it from the holiday. I, I, basically, when I'm feeling like like myths in Florida, I can just go and oh, smell it. Smells a bit stale, actually. Crappy hotel coffee. <laughs> yeah, uh, mine is like Future Land, so Space Mountain, Tomorrowland. Told you I was tired. Space Mountain, um, Submarine Voyage. Must be an old thing. Oh, that is quite old. I don't yeah. think that's a... But yeah, anyway, it's the old classic posters. So you got the Tomorrowland yeah. Speedway and the Monorail System and things like that. But yeah, basically this is our... We like... Oh, I like to have coffee in the room for breakfast, but I don't like paper cups and everything's served in paper cups in like the, the um, hotel coffee shop or in the, in the, the machine that you have yeah. in the room. So we get a mug yeah. and that works a treat. So the next mugs that Gemma wasn't allowed to buy... Were the You Are Here mugs from Starbucks. I really like these mugs. They're just a nice size to hold. Plus, we manage to hold it in the So, this is the Florida one. We've already got the Orlando one. So, it's got some. I'm going to the shark. Like palm trees. And then it's got a flamingo. And a rocket launch. Well, a shuttle launch on this one. Mm-hmm. I love the colours of this one. It's pink and orange and blue. Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? Very pretty. You'll have to excuse me, I'm just making sure this camera actually picks me up and not things around us. We don't need to see you. Right. And then the other one, because we went to Universal this time and not Disney. Um, not that you can tell by the haul. Um, it's the Orlando Resort one. Mm-hmm. So it's got Hulk on there and Ride Rocket and the Men in Black ride and the Universal, ooh, Universal Globe. It's pretty good. And again, it's cool colours. It is. And I like it. Yeah, they are really nice mugs to drink from, to be fair. We do, we do have far too many mugs, so, so we're the going to have a I'm big clear out of mugs soon. So what's next? Um, well, you got a pin badge. Yeah, so we went to, uh, we should do a whole haul of pin badges. You've not really sorted this, have you at all? No, no, they're just in the bags. Okay, so this is coming randomly as we find it, which is kind of fun because we can't remember what we bought. So it's a bit of a game for us. Yeah. We went to Central Florida Zoo and I bought a pin badge, which really does not want to focus. No, it's too shiny. Shiny! Sorry. That was kind of the theme for the holiday, wasn't it? Yeah. There we there go. There you go. Relatively straight. What's it doing? <laughs> we love shoes. Relatively straightforward pin badge. Yep. Uh, but yeah. Pretty nice. I always like to collect a pin badge when we go to different zoos. Um, we went to SeaWorld quite a lot. Yes. It's my favourite park. Mm-hmm. Um, and on the way out, they asked, would you like to do a survey about the park? I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll do it. And they gave us a free bag. That's so cute. Mm-hmm. I really like that. And I will use that a lot. That's cool. My little free bag. So you probably use that for work, can't you? And we also went to Discovery Cove. And we got a free photo, which we shouldn't have really got, but, but we did. Um, and anyway, it was us going into the park in the morning. Yep. So I'll get us a nice frame so I can put that in there. It's yep. always a nice oh, just memento. No. Plus, we get, you get your lanyard and your little. We have an old frame over there from think. Discovery Cove that we could switch yeah, around. That's our but the one over there has got us with dolphins, so it's yeah. cool. Who's the joke? Right, so. What's next? Food. 
hot food if you buy Ooh, Laura's food. So I'm a big fan of Oreo cookies and the cookies that I can't get over here are the cinnamon bun ones. So I bought myself Probably some them. cinnamon bun Oreos. These are fantastic. Mm -hmm. I got my brother firework ones as well, which are like normal, but he's already taken them. Um, they have popping candy in them. He said they're really good. We also got some peppermint toads from Harry Potter World, so it's not focusing. Do you know we should have done this the old camera? The old camera does this better. There we focusing. go. They focused. Hop, 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 hop. <laughs> this one's like, oh, I can see a face. I'm going to ignore everything else within 300 um, square miles. We got some M&Ms because you have to. So these ones are dark chocolate peanuts. Mm -hmm. Which they did do in the UK for a short while. Yeah, for a short while. But I love dark chocolate special. and I love peanuts. Mm -hmm. And, and I bought the best, best flavour, the only flavour. Mint. 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 I did Mint. want to get some caramel ones to bring home. But I did try I them out there and they were very nice. Mm -hmm. But they also like would have pulled all my teeth out. So probably for the best that I didn't buy any. And we went to the little kitchen shop in Disney Springs. Mm -hmm. And got some... Backwards hickory rub, Ooh, maybe. I know, yeah, I have a hickory rub head. Hickory rub head. And some Chef's Choice steak rub. Very nice. So these Looking now, forward to trying those. Good. Yeah, because all, all the steaks we were eating over there had like a nice dry rubs on them. Yeah. We just got into eating them, so we're going to try that yeah. at home. Also, on the food side, I bought some, I haven't got it here with us, I bought some beef jerky while we were out there. And I didn't eat it while we were out there, so I threw it in the case on the last day. Completely forgot that technically you probably shouldn't be bringing beef jerky home. But don't worry, for the safety of the country, I'm going to eat that beef jerky so it doesn't pose a threat to anyone else. From the beef jerky outlet in Florida Mall. Because I, I, I always buy some from Walmart and eat it, and then I get some from the beef jerky outlet, which is like way better. And then the stuff I got from Walmart just sits on the side, and I eat the beef jerky outlet stuff. But this time, I managed to save some beef okay, jerky outlet yeah. too. What's next? There's well, a load of bags under here. start with a bag, because everything's just got chucked okay. into bags. Yeah, we did a good run on the character warehouse this year. In fact, that's what's, what's next. Oh, yeah. Good yeah. run on the character warehouse and Disney sort of clearance outlet stores and things this year. Excuse me, there's um, a Disney store in uh, Florida Mall, isn't yeah. there? Yeah. And they were having a sale on... Plushies and... Plushies and stuff, oh. yeah. But the one thing I picked up was this guy here. Which is a Death Trooper from the Rogue One film. It's the Elite series. What I basically do at home is I have a collection of these now, and I never pay the full price for them. So I've got one that was a fiver, a few that was seven pound fifty, and this guy it was ten dollars, reduced from twenty seven dollars. This is a pretty good buy, and it's a pretty cool Death Trooper. So I will keep that with my others. And there's about six of them now. All bad guys. I don't have All any bad good guys. guys. Yeah. <laughs> what's in here? What surprises have we got? Oh, this is because this is what we drank at Starbucks like, for the whole holiday. Mm -hmm. The peach green tea, ice lemonade. Now it's pit you up as the main face. Oh, dear me, can. So oh, it's rubbish out. I bought us some to, to bring home. There we go. Um, so we can have some Florida tea here. Even though you can get this in the Starbucks here. It probably doesn't taste as good as the Florida one. That was like your last purchase of the trip, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, pin badges couple of them here. I have a new Universal Studios pin badge, which is pretty cool. There we go, you got that. I like that one. Yeah. And I also got the Islands of Adventure pin, which is not one I've had previously, I don't think. Although I haven't had a look at my pins in a while, so if I do find it there, I'll be most upset. <laughs> I do lose track after a while because I buy so many of them. There are more pin badges to be found, by the way. Yeah, there are. Those Ooh, are for you. This is another character warehouse purchase. Yes. So, like if the Christmas ears, they were three ninety nine, and I will wear them on Christmas Day here. Yep. So, so you can those can be your at work planning Disney trip return. Yeah. Ears. They are, yeah. <laughs> they, I wear these when I'm doing me, me plotting for the next Disney trip. But yeah, three ninety nine in the character. Yeah, warehouse. and the tab's still in them, so tab's the back is like brand the, new. On and them you can replace well. the batteries as well. Anyway, yeah. So. That's good. This is uh, this is yours. Oh yeah, this is another character warehouse bargain. I should probably guess we're both big Star Wars fans. So this was like a little long sleeve t-shirt that I picked up it's with very the sparkly. rebel sparkly rebel symbol on. And this was I think she pulled the tag off this one when she was 
putting it up together. Um, She's trying to hide the Bergens from you. Get her! No, it was. It should have been thirty-seven ninety-nine, <laughs> and it was fourteen ninety-nine in the Outlast. Dirt. And I do, I do love a bit of sparkle. Oh, look, there's a the tag hiding under the arm. There we go. Yeah, thirty-seven dollars should have been fifteen. Sorry, the other way around. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I paid tri- more than double the price for it. Oh, this might be one of my um, Christmas decorations. All right. Again, from Character Warehouse. It could be something completely different because I've not opened it. <laughs> it's just a big bundle of paper. It's a lot of paper. No, it's a Christmas decoration. It'd be funny if you got to middle and there was some like ribs from a meal or something that we'd left. And it's Oogie Boogie! No, I'm Oogie Boogie. It's Oogie Boogie. And you got that from the clearance stores again? Yeah, the clearance store again. You remember how much? It's The ticket is on there. It's yeah. $4.99. Reduced from? Wait for it. Because it's, it's the price is stuck over it. However much no, it, it cost say. previously. But we saw these hats actually in the Christmas store and they were um, like $20. No, whatever. So, so yeah. Oogie Boogie so, cost me $5. So cheap is what and we're trying I love to say. Him. And although we do collect a lot of pin badges, one love thing we've done in the, in the previousness, previousness of the past of the, was collect fridge magnets. Our fridge is pretty much full of magnets now, but this one from last year, bearing in mind we were there last year, was on sale for 99 cents. So I thought. It matches my Christmas decoration from cents, last huh? year. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's bag number one. Oh, bag number one. Bag number one. The bag number two. Oh, oh, oh more stuff from our. Yeah. I um yes. This isn't clearance stuff. This is top wax stuff. Uh, sorry, the microphone's getting crinkly because Gemma's all in a bag right next to it. Oh yeah, I was just making sure that they were what I thought they were. Uh yeah. Anyway, we went into um Disney Springs a couple of times on the trip, as you'll see as as, as the trip goes on, and um. We went to the Star Wars one towards the end, didn't yeah. we? Not the last night, but the second time we went of the yeah, three we times. we forgot about the Star Wars Yeah, shop. But, but the weird thing is, right, we did all the Star Wars stuff and all the Star Wars shops we could find, and then the little Star Wars shop back up towards the Disney Quest Where the Marvel end, had stuff well. that none of the others had, mm-hmm. like all the 40th anniversary stuff, which included a 40th anniversary Droid Factory R2 and C3PO. So I treated myself to that, and that was $24.99. Yeah. Twenty four dollars and ninety nine cents. Four dollars and ninety nine cents. Uh, and that's a kind of a fortieth anniversary special with a sticker on it. But I, it'll go with my other figures, so I'm quite happy with that. I got more ears as well. Um, I got Madame Leota ears. Now these are presents for somebody. So I can't put this video up until we've given all the presents. Out. Oh, she's getting them on Tuesday. So oh, okay, fine. we'll be fine. Um, so these are normally about twenty dollars in the park. And they were marked down to, oh, they were sixteen ninety five. Oh, are you? Oh, she's got a small. She's head. got a tiny head. Um, <laughs> and they, they were marked down to four ninety nine. So I thought, oh, that's a bargain. Um, and when I got to tell, they were one ninety nine. So an even bigger bargain. Yep. Uh, I got some more pin badges. So these are Sea World pin badges. Uh, the last time we went, we wanted a Mako pin, and we could not find a Mako pin, and we were most disappointed. This time. They had a Mako pin, so we bought that like immediately because we really wanted it on the last trip. And it's a really nice little pin, that as well. And also, uh, SeaWorld work with Guy Harvey, not Guy Garvey, because that's the guy available. <laughs> I always get the two mixed up for some reason. Um, and anyway, he's doing a pin now, which is, I think it's a charity pin, this is. Yeah, it? it's like 5% of the profits from his stuff yeah. go to his research. So that is the Guy Harvey pin. And that's like the painting on the wall, isn't it, by yeah. Mako? So that's pretty cool. So we picked that one up. That was twelve ninety five. The Mako one was eight dollars. Uh, more pins. This time back to Disney. This is the fortieth anniversary limited release pin. There we go. And that closes like so with the fortieth anniversary logo on the front. That was fifteen dollars. It's a little pricier than I would normally pay for well, a pin, it's a but limited edition. Yeah. And having said that, <laughs> yeah. we hit that out of the park with the price in us because this is another charity pin. This is the Force for Change Last Jedi pin. It's not focusing, it's not focusing. Ooh. 
There we go. There you go. We got it in the end, um, and that was sixteen ninety nine. But again, some of that goes to charity, yeah. to uh, sort of change charity, which is cool. The work with UNICEF. Yes, it's a really nice pen too. Why is it all? Drop that on my foot. We on our trip to Central Florida Zoo, we also bought some of these little tumblers, which are colour changing tumblers. I wonder if we can demonstrate actually. I have not actually seen this work, so... We've not washed them. Oh, it'd be fine. <laughs> Maybe they're not. We're going to have to take these back, they don't work. Oh, damn. Maybe it changes with heat? It could change with heat. The reason we <laughs> assumed cold is because we've got some tumblers identical to these, which are NXT. WWE NXT tumblers that were a gift. They change with um, cold. cold. I'm going to say these change with heat. Or they don't change, it doesn't really matter. Well, like, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep hold of it and see if it's like happens. It's like $10 for four. Yeah, $10 for four. I'm, they're quite handy to have around when you're in picnics and stuff. And then again, in the character warehouse, and um, because we're going back next year, we've got these luggage tags. Yeah. And they were reduced from $12.95 to $3.99. They're really good quality as well, aren't they? And they'll match the colour of our magic bands next year. Woo! Which I don't really picked, because... Yeah. Gemma fit that before I could even attempt to suggest possibly even vlogging. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't changing colour, just assume it. We'll just assume it does. Oh, you've got that behind, yeah. Yeah, I've got some bits here and yeah. I didn't get my t shirt out of the wash though. Uh, oh, no, do you want to go and grab that then? Yeah, I'll go and quick. grab that. So I got some sums. Some sums. Some sums. Some sums. Some, 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 some. Now, some of them were from the character warehouse. Oh, dear Lord. So these three were from the character warehouse, and it's Madame Leota, Greedo, and a Tuscan Raider, and they were 99 cents each, buy two, get one free. So in the character warehouse they had all Haunted Mansion ones, lots of Star Wars ones, and a lot of Marvel ones as well. And then my friend has recently been to Florida just before we went, and she had got... Mm, Maleficent and Maleficent's Dragon um, and I really really wanted them because Maleficent is my favourite villain so this is Maleficent's Dragon which is ridiculously cute and it won't focus there we go so that's Maleficent's Dragon and then Maleficent Get a little cape on, my little horns, and then I also picked up my favourite character from Bugs Life, which is Heimlich. I now have Heimlich head. Look at me, I'm a beautiful butterfly. And last but not least, we got Wally too. I like his wheels. I like his little eyes. And he's got a little, a little, a little cockroachy book friend on the side, wasn't they? That's a cute one. That is very cute. So, so now you've started another collection. I only really wanted Maleficent's dragon. Ah, oh, right. <laughs> you wanted Maleficent one, so we ended up buying four. No, Maleficent's and a dragon. Mm -hmm. And then it just made more sense to get four. Smash it. Oh. More wrapped up stuff. More wrapped up stuff. This is exciting. I don't know what this is. That's a tiny lot too much. Ah. Oh, of course. <laughs> so, like that. every single time I've been to Disney Springs and Downtown Disney, I've always gone, I wish they did a Downtown Disney pin or Disney Springs pin. They probably did, but I never saw a Downtown Disney one. And on my last visit, I didn't see a Disney Springs one. This time, however, we walked in and they just received delivery, received delivery of these Disney Springs pins. So I bought that, and I can't remember how much it was, but it's blue, as in on the code. It was. It wasn't. It was like nine dollars or something. Yeah, like it was that, like nine ninety nine. I think that. All right. Well, there you go. It was a pen. It was blue. And my last Christmas decoration. I've seen this before, as a Mary Poppins one. I think Spring from Disney and Spoonful of Sugar might have bought it because they're big Mary Poppins fans. But as I said, I'm a Maleficent fan, so it's Maleficent's king. Picking up the face of Jabba the Hutt behind. 
<laughs> the lessons came. <laughs> came. <laughs> there we go. And their horns. And this was five ninety nine. Was used from twenty two ninety nine. That will look delightful on my Christmas tree. <laughs> That's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, I love that. It feels like we bought more than this. Oh, we did buy a lot of presents too. We did. We've given many of them to the to yeah. the. To the so it's just your stuff? Yeah, I did actually buy more t-shirts than this, but in the last couple of minutes, these are the only two that I could find. Oh, I've got a t-shirt somewhere as well. I don't mind if it's there. Okay. Uh, I bought a Central Florida Zoo t-shirt, which cost $20, I think, something like that. Um, did I buy four t-shirts? Yeah, because you got Star Wars t-shirts. Two Star Wars t-shirts. Hulk Hogan t-shirts. Yeah. Which was the other one? The one off my counterweight house. The ice. Oh one. yeah, I've not found that one. I got one of the Ice Planet or Hoth ones, the one that's like a stylistic in the style of the um, Walt Disney World posters, isn't it? Yeah. They're like the retro posters. Um, the other two t-shirts I got were <clears throat> the, and I, I, I ached over this choice for a while. Okay, the second time I went in I decided I'm just gonna buy it. This is the Force for Change Last Jedi shirt which needs a wash because it's what I wore on the flight home and it still smells. <laughs> it's the one thing we haven't washed. That's going to end the wash when we finish this. I missed it. But yeah, it's a really nice shirt. Again, you get some money to go to charity for this. And I do like that it has the, the Force for Change logo there, the uh, Rebel symbol there, and the last year there written there. So it's a pretty cool shirt. I was happy with that and I really like the colour of that one. Uh, the other shirt we got was the Hulkster shirt from the Hulk Hogan Beach Shop. Which is probably about the brightest t-shirt I know, <laughs> and I'm saying that while wearing this t-shirt. So you know, but yeah, that was how much was that? Oh, that was um, twenty-four dollars. Supposed to be twenty-four ninety-nine, but there's a story behind it. You'll see that in the vlog. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just say it worked in my favor. Yeah. Uh, the other thing, Gemma bought me this. Didn't when you? you? Yeah, when you spent it, we went to the my, my little niece wanted some some lip smackers. We searched everywhere for them and we finally found them in the Disney store on the Florida Mall. Um, and they had a sale on their own plushies and Mark's sister's having a baby. So we got some plushies while they were cheap. And if you spent so much money, you could pick either a bag or a beach towel. And I went for the beach towel beach and towel. paid $12 Shall for we all, us oh, instead of 25 And it's cool, it's like retro Oops. Mickey and Minnie. Mm -hmm. It's really big. So that'll be much, much useful for the next trip as well. Yes. We always like to take our own beach towels just because they're bigger. Yeah, than... they're nice to do them. And you can spot where your sunbed is if it's got your own towel on. I've got a massive Bush Gardens one that I got last year. So it's is really that everything cool. other than the last thing I bought? Yeah, and the other t-shirt and my other t-shirt. Which was? Star Wars t -sh best top. Best top. Oh yeah. yes, you got that from the character wearers as well, did. didn't you? Again, it was reduced from 36 mm -hmm. 99 to 14 99 and it's cool for the Death Star on it and all like different colour polka dots. So yeah, loads of t-shirts as usual. Uh, I also decided to, I've, I've been looking for a pair of wireless headphones for quite a while. So we took a trip out to Best Buy and I picked up some of these Skull Candy ones. Which were, uh, I don't think there was any special deal on them. They were, were they $150 these? They should have been 200 I think. There's like a, a nationwide sale in the US on them. So they were $150. And yeah, they're wireless Bluetooth with stupidly loud bass. <laughs> which you can turn off. <laughs> which you can turn off because I'm not the biggest fan of stupidly loud bass. Um, but yeah, pretty happy with them. Uh, I've not had a good chance to use them yet because I haven't really listened to much music. There was a, we were on holiday, I wasn't listening to a lot of music no, and then when we no. came back I've just not had a chance. But I will be listening to them a lot with like when I'm doing work in the garden and so on and so forth. So you can't hear me shouting them? Yes. Oh, and I can't hear the fact that the llama was on fire. <laughs> Except that you'd be in front of you. Yeah, true. <laughs> After you mow the lawn. <laughs> While listening to Don't music in the eyes closed. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much everything other than those two t-shirts, well, three t-shirts that we were missing. That's everything we bought, I think. It does feel yeah. like we bought more, doesn't it? It's, we, did, uh, we did buy a lot of presents. Yes, we did. And we ate some things as well. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we haven't eaten any. I, didn't I not? No, okay, never mind. I thought I bought some more jerky, but it was stuff that we had from when we came back. It was stuff you had, yeah. Okay, so there we go. Pretty good haul, I think, mm -hmm. for us, because bearing in mind we don't go shopping, we went shopping a lot of times on this trip. We went shopping on the first day. Yeah. It's unheard of. Yeah, that's true. It was 
good trip. So yeah, maybe it was. I we'll talk. It. We'll do a post trip chats when when all the videos have gone live as well. Don't worry about that. So thank you for watching our little haul video. It was a little chaotic and shambolic, but I kind of <laughs> like to do that. Bit like us, really. That's our channel, <laughs> innit? You know. Innie. Innie. Calm down. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. 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 <laughs> but yes. Anyway, hope you enjoyed our haul. We yep. shall see you soon. Give us a like and a subscribe if you did. Hopefully, um, be more vlogs soon because we yep. got some, we got some plans for some like for trying doing some new quirky things with sort of talking about our old trips in more detail because I just wondered what he was going on about them but then I just remembered yes because <laughs> uh, I had a sort of sudden feeling that we like to watch back our trips we didn't film our first three trips nope was it three trips it was three wasn't it three. we didn't film our first three trips but we kind of like would like to reminisce about them again so we might talk about them with some sort of photos and stuff like that so that'll be the one for the people who really 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 do like watching our stuff yeah because I made Probably the memory for book everyone. for the first trip yes you did oh that'd be a good thing we could I go did. through the memory book I made the memory book That's... okay so we'll see you soon guys anyway bye bye, bye. important colour changing beaker update the colour changing beakers are just beakers they don't change colour at all <laughs> oh well oh well three dollar beakers there you go it's quite a nice print on them though. Yeah, it's cool. And we like these plastic pieces. Lights up nice as well. Drink them here. He's your magic trip with them. My head looks tiny, it's your little. I look so small next to you. Because you want a miniature Gemma. Look, no, I'm tiny. You're big. <laughs> <laughs>